Hello everyone, today we're going to be covering creating polymorphic comments. What that means is you're going to be able to take your comment model and just slap it on to, uh, let's say, your articles or your posts or whatever else you have on your application, maybe even just other comments. You want them to have comments in them in, in the form of like a reply. And what this is going to allow you to do is just very quickly add it to multiple parts of your application. We've covered similar stuff in the past, maybe with the like, you know, agnostic likes or the uh, favorites, uh, stuff like that. But here we're just going to be focusing on comments because I get this question quite a bit. So I thought I'd cover it real quick. So to get started, we're actually just going to stop the server and I'm going to do a uh, CD dot dot. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll add this all together. We'll do a Rails new video and we'll CD into video and we'll do a code dot. Just get all of this out of the way as quickly as we can. So that should go ahead and start everything for us. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is hit F11, I'll hit Control L, and we can go ahead and generate our scaffold. For this, we're going to be creating a post scaffold with a title and a body of type text. Go ahead and run this. It doesn't really matter what we create for these posts, it's just so that we have something to add comments to. I'm going to go ahead and do our DB migrate now. Now for the comments themselves, we're going to need to generate a, uh, oops, not that, we're going to need to generate a comment model. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll say Rails G model comment. We'll give it a body of type text, a commentable of type references. And we can actually just tell it right here with these braces that it also needs to be polymorphic. We can go ahead and run this. And now if we come over to our app, our uh, models and our comment.rb, you can see here it says belongs to commentable and it has the polymorphic true included in it. Neat little trick that I learned there from chat GPT earlier. So with that in uh, set up, what we can do now is we can come into our post. So we'll come over here to our post.rb. In our post.rb, what we need to do is very quickly add a has many comments as commentable and then the dependent destroy. With that done, we can then come into our uh, controller. So let's say we come into our post controller over here. We'll come into app controllers and the post controller in the show action, what we want to do is add in a at comments equals and then the at post comments dot order and order it by created at the esc for descending next thing what we can do is come into our uh, let me save this come into our app our views and in our views we want to come into our posts and in our posts we want to come into the show page now we'll start by doing this we'll refactor this in a minute here but we'll just start by saying after the render we want to have a form for our comment and we can then create our comment controller. So we'll come down here and we'll say Rails G controller and we'll call this the comments controller and run that. Now that will create our controller. We can come up here to our app, our comments controller. And then in our comments controller, we can do two or three things. So we'll start by creating the create action where we grab the at commentable, which uses the find commentable uh, method. We'll take a look at that in a second. We're going to start by coming down here to the uh, at comment where it uses the comment params. So by using the at commentable dot comments dot build, that just uh, sets up the uh, association. So we have the uh, parent that has uh, has the the comments in it. We can then come into or has the the commentable that is uh, the join table, right? And then we can come down here to a private section. And we'll just do a uh, comment params where the params require the comment and permits the body. Now, in terms of finding the commentable, there's a couple different ways you could do this. There's a way where you could come into the, sh the actual form. You could add in some hidden parameters here that just tell you what type this is. Uh, so you could have like your f that or form dot hidden input, right? That has your uh, commentable uh, name, but there's a different way we could do this. If we come into our private, we can then do a find commentable. And then in here, we can do a params.each do for the name and the value. And then we can check if the name of the param, and this is going to get a little bit ugly, but bear with me. So effectively, what this is going to do is it's going to check what type of commentable we need based on the parameter that gets passed back. So you could think back, it might be a, you know, post underscore ID or an article underscore ID, uh, etc. And then what we can do is we can, oh, it's already suggesting it. We can return uh, the dollar sign one dot classify dot constantize dot find the value. And that's going to grab our uh, our model name 
and our model so that we can actually just grab the uh, the commentable type here, which will be either your, uh, you know, your capital P post or your capital P article, so, or capital P, capital A article. We can say uh, differentiate between uh, parent models. So e.g. Uh, post, uh, or I guess I can just leave it like this, post ID, photo ID, etc. So this will just grab that and then we now have the commentable without needing to do those additional things to our form. We can just use it in the find here. So once we have this, we can then go ahead and create our routes. We'll come down here to our config and our routes.rb. In our routes, we just wanna add a um, do block to our posts. We say resources comments only create. We'll set the root to be the post controller and the index action. At this point, we can effectively start our server over to localhost port 3000. We have a pending migrations. We'll go ahead and run that. We'll click new post. We'll say test in case, create the post. We come in here and we can say one, two, three. That creates a comment. We can come up here to verify it created it, which it did. You can see here the uh, commentable right here. The commentable type is set to post and the commentable ID is set to one. So all of that's working as we would expect it to. Uh, what we can do now is we can, uh, if we want to, uh, we can generate a second scaffold just to test how we would add this to a second one. So we'll come in here, we'll say, uh, oops, let's grab the scaffold code. It keeps doing that. Uh, let's grab the scaffold. Make sure this actually works. There we go. We can generate the scaffold article with the title and content of type text. Go ahead and run this. Next, we can come into our app views or app models, app models and our article model. We'll just add in the has many comments. So this is the first thing you have to do. Has many comments as commentable, dependent, destroy. Same as the post. We then need to update our routes again. So we'll come into our routes. And instead of having resources articles, we wanna have resources articles do with another comments only create block. The next thing we can do if we want to is uh, create some seed data. This is optional, really, really not required. It's just so we can see this a bit better. Uh, but we can come in here to the seeds. And we can do something like this where we create the posts, we create the articles, we then create some comments for each by just doing the post.comments.create and we pass in a body. And we do the same thing for the articles. We can then go, oops, we can then go ahead and run a Rails db colon seed command to seed our database. Oh, we have to do a Rails db colon migrate. And then we can do a seed and run that. See that works right away. So now that we have that, what we can do is add the ability to display these comments. So to come to do this, uh, let's come into our post real quick. In our post show page, I'm gonna come up here. Uh, what we can do is say, all right, we have all of these, these comments here. Uh, what we can do is uh, create a partial. And what I actually wanna do is just abstract this entire thing out. Because as we go, we're gonna be, for example, uh, doing something like this, where we display each of the comments. We then have to render a comment partial. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cumbersome. We're gonna be adding multiple lines of code to each of these, these uh, show pages for both the articles and the posts, and maybe something else in the future. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And what we're gonna do instead uh, on our show page is we're going to do a render for a, I have to grab the right one. This is the post page. We're gonna do a render or a partial, and this is actually gonna be in the comments slash comment underscore form. I'm gonna do a little bit of live refactoring here to make this a little bit more readable. Uh, so we do this and then we pass in the commentable, which is gonna be our at post. We can then come down here and do something similar where we render a partial for the comments slash comments, which is just gonna be our, uh, our show portion. So we're gonna have the form first and then we're gonna have the portion that renders all of the comments where we just pass in the comments uh, that we declare in the uh, show action up here. So all of these are just getting passed in right here. And then we just pass in the parent so that it, the form can build itself. We can do the same thing to the articles page. We can go over to the app views articles and the article show page. And we can go ahead and grab a form, paste that below the article. This time we pass in the at article as the commentable. And then we can just pass in the uh, the uh, actual comments themselves. We then grab this, change both of these two comments. And now all we have to do is come into our comments folder and create these two files. One is going to be the underscore comment underscore form. And the other one is going to be the underscore 
uh, comments.html.erb. And I actually have to change this comments form because I forgot the uh, .html.erb, just like that. So in the comment form, we're gonna add that same thing we had earlier, but we're gonna refactor it a little bit. We're gonna just say add a comment. It'll be a form with for a model. And then inside of these uh, brackets right here, we're gonna make the first uh, element the commentable. And then the second one's going to be a comment.new where we pass in the commentable. The reason why we don't do a build here is because we might run into an issue if we're building it, where if we have the form first on the page and then we call a build, when we do the at comments uh, dot all or whatever, we can potentially run into some issues where it tries to grab that article or that comment we just made and it might have some nil arguments associated with it. So instead, we're just going to pass in a comment dot new, make sure we're doing this uh, properly. It's a bit of a remnant of refactoring, but that's OK. We can then uh, after we do this form, we can come over to our uh, comments partial as a whole. And here, this is pretty simple. We're just gonna paste in that same bit where it has the comments.each and we just grab the comment.body. You could of course put in your user associations here if you were so inclined. You can now come over here, do a Rails S, refresh the page, come over to localhost port 3000 slash post slash one. We'll do a test comment, click that. Now you can see test is above one, two, three. So this is our latest comment. We can do one more where the latest comment will be up top. So that's working. You can then come over to articles uh, right here where we uh, need to make sure we're doing this correctly. So in our articles show page, uh, we need to make sure that the, or I guess this would be in the articles controller. We need to make sure we are defining the at articles, right? So we're going to do this the same way we did in the other one uh, where we in the comments or in the post controller, wherever that may be, the post controller, we grab the at post.comments.order we come over to the articles controller and we're just going to say uh, at at article dot comments dot order. So at the end of the day, all you re really have to do to add this to a new one is in your models, you add in the has many in your controller, you add in the uh, the at comments bit. And then in your show page, you just want to add in these two lines. And now if I save this and we come over here and we refresh, we should see we have the comments being displayed. We can create a test comment. You'll see test is above the rest. So really in like three or four lines of code, you've now added the same thing or the same piece of functionality to two different models, which is sort of where this polymorphic stuff can be really helpful. So, you know, maybe consider uh, taking a look at something similar if you have features that you feel will be shared between multiple models, uh, because it can really save you a lot of time. And it also allows you to do some pretty quick refactoring where you can, uh, you know, instead of going into each of the articles and, and post show pages, uh, you can just come into your comment form and maybe you want to have this say, uh, I don't know, like uh, add comment, right? And then you refresh and now this says add comment to each of these, or maybe you want this to be like a reply button. And then you're just, you're, it's that easy to update your whole app as opposed to going into each of them and, and changing stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to cover this real quick. Hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.